Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing out there? Hopefully y'all are having a good day. I'm having a great day because I've got the Asher boy right here next to me. He's behaving himself, mostly. He's <laughs> just being a good old boy right now, just sitting up here and enjoying the enjoying the time and enjoying the, the day. So we have uh, 86, episode 20, Together Unto Death. I'm starting to get sad because we're nearing the end of the run of 86, and I'm wondering... If we're going to get a second season of this. If we do, awesome. If we don't, boo. What are you doing? Make it happen. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. I know, buddy. I know. I want a second season of uh, 86 as well. But I got to be honest. That's, you know. Hopefully in the future it'll it'll come to us. I guess we'll just have to see. Anyway, we have uh, the episode of 86 queued up here. We got it on screen. Let's give it a watch. Here we go. Damn。最新軍が始まった。例の異能者によれば、モルフは支配域南の線路上で足を止めている。T+11 動いた。レギオンか。北側の陽動作戦に食いついたみたいだ。お前フレデリカ連れて戻れ。レギオンどもがうじゃうじゃいる中を見つからねえで戻るんだ。お前以外できるわけねえだろうが。陽動と本体への
<laughs> Just say how you feel to him. <laughs> oh, she has a concussion now. Frederica, shut your filthy, filthy mouth. <laughs> hey, let Karina dream. It's like you better not. Don't like that because the show always uses symbolism when something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. I think Shin would be able to tell if they were in danger. どうのご会があるようだか。私はただよく切れる剣は活用すべきだと考えているだけだ。万が一にもレギオンに取り込まれたのではかなわん。とっとと回収してやらんとな。夜明け前に進軍開始よ。あなたたち。了解です。こちと
生きようと思っていないことだ俺だけがまだまともに生きていない支配域に侵入した適正部隊の痕跡を発見した状況を統合し機関を追跡しているものと推定了解<笑>まあ、でも、そういうことは、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、I mean, imagine staring your friend in the eye as he is asking you to put him out of his misery. And, you know, he's looking to you to do that. I mean, and, and not to mention in this situation, there's some of them he's killed that are just like, I don't want to die, you know? And he's just like, sorry. It's like, but at this point, I'm doing you a favor because you're going to die one way or another. And I'd rather the Legion not come for you. Yeah. Yeah. You know who else had a fear of that and actually, you know, in his mind, he wanted to live to 50 and that's it. He said, 50 is the ideal time for me because at that point I feel like, I'll feel like I've done enough.、Uh, it was、uh, Hunter S. Thompson,、mm. the, the writer. He basically had the idea that 50 years is plenty for me. That's all I need. And he made it past that. And he left a note、uh, before he ended his own life. He left a note basically saying, I made it to 63. That's 13 more than I wanted, 13 more than were needed. And it's just, again, he still maintained that even in his advanced years. And, you know, people have the idea of, of having their usefulness, and then after that, it's like, then what? I know there was Ram.、Uh, you ever seen the movie Rambo, the first one?、Mm. With, uh, the freak out that he has at the end. You know, he's just like, you don't just turn it off. It's not something you can just, like, like get over. You know you, you know, you teach us to kill. You teach us to, you know, to do all these things. And then we're supposed to just turn it off when we come back home. And then when we get home, we got people spitting on us and, like, looking at us with derision all the time. Like, how, like, where, like, What's right about that? And again, like, that's like the 86. I mean, those who know them, especially those in the military, look at them with derision. Just like they look at them like they're, they're monsters to a certain degree. And that's, again, that is so wrong beyond every level. I mean, seeing them as monsters is, is you're basically dehumanizing them to make yourself more comfortable. That's all they're doing. They're dehumanizing them to make themselves feel better. And that's never the right thing to do. Ever. Period. But, yeah, this was a hell of an episode.、Oh, uh, I was going to say my bro chance actually always talked about how he didn't think he wanted to live past like 50 or so. Yeah. Until I told him, like,、uh, I was like, you do realize that when we're old and in like retirement homes and shit, we're just going to get to play video games all the time, right? And he was like, hmm. Never thought about that. That could be pretty legit, actually. Yeah, think about it. It's like, not to mention, imagine like the VR advancements and stuff by then, you know? We'll essentially get to live like other lives while we're in our fucking 70s and 80s. Honestly, I don't know what the future holds for me. I mean, if it's any indication of how my parents are, my parents are both very active still in their 50s. My mom. Uh, she, again, she overburdens herself with trying to take care of everybody. And my dad, my dad's just a working man. That's all he's ever sought to be. That's all he ever wants to be. And I, and I think he won't ever retire. 
I think my dad will be working. Eight, he'll be 85, and he'll still be working on the railroad somehow, some way, in some capacity. Well, I think at this point, where I've not even started a retirement fund at my age, that I don't think I will be able to retire. Well, that's not true. I mean, the whole thing with Social Security is you have that plus whatever you build up with a 401k or a retirement. Yeah, but I haven't put anything into Social Security in the past however many years. Uh, fair. But again, overall, man, I mean, I think about my retirement with, uh, again, I look at the career that I have right now, and I think to myself, I will be able to do this even when I'm up in years. Because there's elderly YouTubers I've seen who basically do the same thing that we're doing. Well, assuming that YouTube stays around that long anyway. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. If YouTube just goes the way of the dodo and just ceases to be, which does happen. But as it is right now... Since I'm, they can't seem to make good decisions about anything, it seems more likely than not that it will happen eventually. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, uh, this was a... This was a freaking, like, bit of a downer episode, sort of... The last calm before the storm. And I think the next episode is going to be the... it. I think the next episode or two is going to be the big battle with the Morpho. Yeah. And I'm excited. I, I don't know what to expect. I'm excited. And I'm really hoping that, that they all pull through this. I guess we'll just have to see. But for now, everyone, that's going to do it. This was 86... Episode 20, uh, un- Together Unto Death. If you all want to see more, yeah, if you're watching this on Patreon, hey, uh, thank you very much for checking us out. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you want to check ahead and uh, get ahead on uh, uh, 86, feel free to check out our Patreon. And until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. See you later, everybody. Peace.